friends, welcome to the DLED program of Environmental Studies, which we also called EVS. I am Dr. Romila Soni, working with the Department of Elementary Education, NCRT, New Delhi. Today, our topic is Meaning, Significance and Types of Learning Resources in EVS, topic number 31. Now, let's see what we are going to focus in today's session. Focus of today's session is Understanding the significance of learning resources, need and significance of learning resources, meaning definition of learning resources, difference between learning resources and learning material, criteria of selection and utilization of learning resources. Now, come on, we are going to understand in detail what do we mean by need and significance of learning resources. Types of learning resources and learning material what a teacher can do to make the classroom resourceful, how the teacher can make the classroom resourceful and attractive. Let's see in detail. Do you know what learning resources are and learning materials are? I hope you must be knowing what the learning resources are and learning materials are. And we need to understand also, is there any difference between the two? Between the two means learning, what are the learning resources and what are the learning materials are? Come on. Let's go further and understand each and everything in detail to make our understanding better. Why the use of learning resources in EVS is critical? Because environmental studies is a process of recognizing values and clarifying concepts in order to develop skills and attitude necessary to understand and appreciate the relationship between humans, culture, and biophysical surroundings. I think you must be finding it very lengthy to understand. Now let me make it a little easier and better for you to understand. Learning resources helps to understand the concepts and any difficult thing very easy because learning resources and learning materials develop the skills and attitudes to understand the relationship between humans, culture, biophysical surroundings. It makes the learnings very, very easy. So teachers, you need to plan and you need to collect the learning resources and the learning materials to make your EVS classroom very, very attractive. So let's see how we are going to make our classroom interesting. Why the learning resources are important? Why? Why we need the learning resources? Because it provides opportunities our children to explore, construct ideas and knowledge. Learning resources provide opportunities to collaborate and solve problems and develop skills in children. And what are the skills which we also keep on talking about? The process skills. And these process skills are very, very important for understanding the EVS concepts. Teachers can use variety of stimulating and exciting learning resources as well as learning materials. And your classroom becomes so interesting and so stimulating that your children just want to come to your classroom and never want to go back. So you can believe that there will be less dropout rates if you are going to make your EVS classroom interesting and children get motivated to come to your classroom and never leave your classroom. So let's see more how we are going to make our classroom attractive. Out Door based learning processes are effective in EVS. When we talk about need and significance of learning resources, it does not get limited to indoor or only inside the classroom. Yes, we can take the EVS learning outside the classroom that we call beyond the classroom learning. So outdoor based learning processes are more effective in EVS. Whatever theme, whatever concepts you are taking, you can always take your children outside to make your learning more effective. This helps the children to make their learnings, abstract learnings, understanding better and faster. Environmental studies aims to enhance the cognitive ability that we call critical thinking skills, capacity to learn and resourceful in children that we call the confident learners. Whenever we call our children, how do we want our children in the classroom? Yes, we want our children to be active, smart, independent, have 
critical thinking skills and independent and very very resourceful all these characteristics in children help children to learn faster and better and they look forward to come to the classroom daily and regularly it makes children curious about social phenomena curiosity is the beginning of learning so the more the your child is curious the better is for the teacher it starts with the family and moving into the wider space let me explain you more in detail many times the teacher and the parents say mera bachcha mujhe why bahut puchta hai kuch bhi bataun to ye bolta hai iska matlab kya ye kyun hua ye kyun hua that's very good it means that your child is alert and active the more the children ask why it means your child is engaged in the learning and your child is active so active learning is must in the evs classroom evs learnings and the learning resources provide direct learning experiences to children so it makes the learning more interesting and again as we talk about experiments learning resources also makes the learning experiences direct children learn faster and children learn smarter and today is the time of smart learning now let's learn more about how we are going to make our classrooms more smart and our children smarter learning resources are devices and procedures that help to make teaching and learning more interesting stimulating and effective this is the perfect definition of learning resources so if you are going to define what learning resources are you're going to say that it is the procedure that makes your teaching and learning stimulating and effective learning resources are little different from learning materials we are going to talk about and we are going to differentiate between what are the learning resources and what the learning materials are now first of all we need to know what the learning resource is a learning resource is a source from which learning benefits are produced it is required to accomplish an activity or to achieve the desired outcomes desired outcomes means what you want your children to learn learning resource can be a discussion you can take the children outside for a nature walk encourage children to observe come out and come back to the classroom and discuss about what they have observed during the nature walk you can take the children outside for a Uh, to a grocery store uh, where where you can plan a study on a grocery store and you can talk about how food is collected what what are the things you can relate it with the grocery store so you can create a map or a concept mapping for the grocery store so that you call a learning resource let's know more in detail what we are going to understand by learning resources and learning materials well the learning resource include learning materials it is not the learning materials that include learning resource it is vice versa learning resource include learning materials along with the other learning opportunities so in short we say that learning resource include learning materials and plenty of learning opportunities which a teacher can create teacher means you which a teacher can create through discussions lots of questioning to the children in the teaching learning process the more you question and the more you encourage children to ask the question we say that the best classroom is that classroom where there is a freedom to ask why so the more your children ask why it means your class is going just wonderfully it means that you have stimulated your classroom so encourage children and engage children in a small group discussions which we are going to learn in problem solving as well and encourage children to ask question and answer questions let's go further now what the learning resources include what do we what are the things that is included under learning resources text text can be anything it is a digital text it is a written text which you see on the tv on the laptop as a, you know like as everywhere in the environment that is the text written text then the digital material 
Now, digital material can also be explained in a form of like if you use the TV or ask the child to observe and the watch the TV, any kind of a channel like Discovery Channel, uh, National Geographic Channel, that is the digital material. So that is a resource for you. That is not a material, that is a learning resource as a digital material. Then comes the classroom discourses. Classroom discourses where you engage children in discussion and interaction with peers, elders and teachers. Discussion can be any form. It can be a whole group discussion. It can be a small group discussion. It can be a buddy discussion. And encourage the interaction with peers. Children learn better and more from the peers than from us. The other material that the teacher uses to assist children to meet the learning expectations outlined in the curriculum. So whatever is in the curriculum which is helping the children to meet the learning expectations are all comes under learning resources. Let's learn further. Now this is a very important thing as a teacher we must know what is the difference between the learning resources and the learning material. You have already learned about learning resources. Now for our convenience we are calling here learning resources as LR and learning material we are calling here as LM. So let's see how we are going to differentiate between the two to make our understanding better. LR, LR is learning resources or devices or procedures that we have already know discussions, watching a particular channel on the TV that's a digital material, text for example as you can see on a TV screen is digital material. What is LM? Learning materials are concrete manipulative material that is textbooks, textbooks, EVS textbooks or any kind of a EVS information material, magazines on environment and worksheets that is specifically prepared and designed to do any activity focused on EVS studies. Let's know further and know more about what is the difference between learning resource and learning materials. Now, learning resources are, as we already discussed, classroom discussions. Healthy, stimulating, motivating, active. Classroom discussions are learning resources. Where you encourage children to do brainstorming, interactions with peers and adults. So as I said, interaction with peers is a very, very healthy thing and very good for learning resource, adults. Adults can be, it is not necessarily every time it's a teacher. It can be any visitor to the classroom or when you take the children outside to a nature walk, to a grocery store or to any other site. There the person, whoever, like a farmer, Farmer is talking to a child can become an adult for an interaction, leading the interaction. Opportunities. Provide plenty of opportunities to children where they can construct their own ideas. That is the best thing because we say and we believe that children learn when they construct ideas during the experiment and using it as a learning resource. What are the learning materials in comparison to learning resource? Books, plenty of books, information books, textbooks, these all are learning materials. News, news papers, news clippings. So it's not necessary that you're going to give the whole newspaper. You can cut the news clippings, particularly on focused on in EVS, and then you can display it on the board, put it in the scrapbook and encourage children to read it and go through during the buddy system. As we always as a teacher need to remember the children learn best through buddy system. Children love their buddies as we love our buddies. So pictures, posters, photographs, drawings, these are all learning materials. Teaching aids. Teaching aids are treasure for the teacher as well as for the children. Children call it as a learning aid, teacher call it a teaching aid. So globe. Globe is difficult for the children, but teacher can make it attractive 
to make it simple for the children and focusing on one particular part when using the globe videos videos always try to focus on small clipping instead of showing a lengthy videos films children love films only thing that the films and the videos need to be age appropriate and content appropriate and lots of age appropriate equipments for evs let's go further now what should be the criteria of selection of learning resources and what should be the criteria of utilization of learning resources as a teacher we need to be very very careful that we need to select the learning resources according to the age of the child according to the development of the child every child's need is different every child's learning style is different you cannot compare one child with the other you need to remember that each child is unique each child learns at his or her own pace and learning style so as a teacher you need to select the age appropriate resources to fulfill the desired learning outcomes of evs and then you are also successful and your children also successful and there is a smooth transitions selection of learning resources depends on relevance of resource to the content concept and theme it is not that as a teacher i like this learning resource very much and i am attracted to the learning resource very much and just because of that i bring it to the classroom no not at all it need to be relevant to the content concept theme and do not forget the need of the children now what is the criteria of selection utilization of learning resources we need to learn more on this we need to see the potential to create interest and motivation among children every child has a potential as a teacher i need to realize the hidden potential or in each and every child where does the child interest lies and what motivates the child i need to take care of this never forget this you are a hit teacher if you focus on these things every child is going to enjoy your class ease of use by the learner learner is your child the child needs to be comfortable in your classroom settings the child cannot learn if the child is not comfortable in your classroom if the environment is not comfortable the child is not going to learn comfortably so the environment needs to be comfortable according to the child availability principle of accessibility learning resources learning materials need to be available at easy accessible place if the material is stored in the closed cupboards it is no use of children so let keep the materials at easy accessibility storage of material needs to be placed at the open shelves where the children can look at it and has a hands on experience and enjoy it manipulate it and learn from it let's go further so as we say that we have lot of faith in all our teachers and you are very creative then us and you are going to make your classroom very very attractive and very very stimulating so do you trust yourself you are a, are you a creative evs teacher yes you are aren't you yes so you are going to use a variety of resources available around you if you just look around you will find that your environment is full of resources it's not that you're going to depend on resources you want to teach colors environment is full of colors you want to do sorting your environment is full of material there are colorful leaves there are colorful seeds there are colorful flowers so use the environment material you need to develop the ability to identify them and use them effectively and you're going to be hit with your children so let's see what are the tips of the teacher and how you're going to make your classroom more stimulating well there are community resources what are the resources there are community resources each persons who live in the neighbor 
in community can be a resource yes a farmer can be a resource a gardener can be a resource a iron smith can be a resource even a potter can be an important resource for you even a parent parent can be a resource if a parent is having a pet at home the child that parent and the child can bring the pet in the classroom and it can be a resource for you for example nirmala's father is a farmer who can help children understand much better about plants in general than you needs of the plants of nirmala's father is a better person to explain about needs of plants and weeds in particular so let's see the sample sheet what your children are going to do interview the farmer record the interaction and the interview with the farmer how the children are going to talk with the farmer think about meeting other people in the community like policeman defense personnel potter teacher and so many around you even a teacher can be a community resource so there you can see an activity sheet is planned for you and how you're going to plan the interview with the farmer you know like source of irrigation what the children are going to talk and how the children are going to interview the farmer that's just a sample sheet you're going to you you can create on your own institutional resources institutes such as public service sector once can be a very effective local learning resources a teacher can plan and coordinate the visits to relevant institute school can also be a institute a post office can be a institute this also ensures real life link built into the teaching learning process such as public hospitals bus stations as i said post office police stations banks post offices gram panchayat offices municipality offices museums melas fair which you popularly called forms zoos gardens parks but one thing you can need to be ensure that always take a prior permission from these offices before taking your children to these places media resources these are just popular and loved by today's children media provides a set of learning resources that is popular and easily available and children get attracted to the media sources very much and they learn faster the most important advantage is that children learn about current environmental issues very easily now what are these media resources include these are the local national and international newspapers magazines tv channels like the discovery channel as i said earlier also the national geographic channel radio programs on gyan bharti vivid bharti environments related websites portals you can also ask children to the children are more smarter they know more other channels apart from discovery and national geographic channel so it is a teacher learning from the children as well technology resources media is also a part of technology resources there are number of technology resources available to support the teacher in the process of teaching and learning what are they today's generation as i say are good at using technology smarter generation it makes teaching learning interesting and attractive to children they learn much better and faster from technology than from the text mobile phones computers camera e learning are some examples of using technology resources and evs human made resources how can we forget that we are the ones who are making resources and making it more interesting so as a creative teacher create effective learning situation which are human made you can ask children to make a list of it the more the children make a list of it and more the children are engaged in it the more active their brains are you will get the names of pen pencil glassware papers etc these are the some expected answers from the children but when you will do it in reality with the children you will find that the children are really creative this become a source of bringing analogy comparing modeling puppeting etc which can be used in different activities to help in concept formation in children's mind so we can make our evs 
so interesting and so stimulating by making use of our learning resources environment resources natural environment is said to be a good learning resource for evs as i said our surroundings are full with learning resources elements of nature like hills ponds grasslands forest oceans they excite children and create curiosity in them what is happening why it is happening what will happen these kind of a questions they ask and we as we discuss in our other presentations also outdoor based learnings are very effective for the teacher and for the children children love it visits can be a natural heritage sites and nature camps can also be very effective and believe me if you're planning to for the nature camps children get so excited and such kind of a learnings are generally lifetime because they are actually doing it just recall and look again what are the resources we learnt for resources for evs this is a quick glance so community resources which we call carpenter shopkeeper parents and teachers institutional resources bank hospital office universities these are just sample you can create on your own resources in nature river jungle pond soil ocean and remember you have to make your learning contextualized media resources television radio posters advertisements children just get attracted by the advertisements technology resources mobile phone camera audio recorder computer internet and cd human made resources pen chair pencil waste paper so this is a quick glance to have a quick learning for your active brain what a teacher can do to make the classroom resourceful well learning resources need to be based on the curriculum if you are going beyond the curriculum it needs to be age and developmentally appropriate never forget that you need to see the needs of the children age of the children and developmental level of the children it must take social considerations into account use classroom games and activities as teaching strategies it makes learning faster and permanent give children choices it's not that i am the teacher and you have to do only this no give children choices children love you for that and it will also inculcate decision making skills in the children it makes children independent now when we're going to conclude we always say that use learning resources and materials to make your teaching learning effective and interesting so keep your classroom active and become an active and creative teacher thank you so much and enjoy with your learning resources and materials